Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and it's Tuesday, which just like we do every Tuesday here at Video Creators, it means it's time to look at some of the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators as we're developing our channels and our audiences here. And I have two guests with me here today. We're going to talk through some of these this new stuff. Jason, tell us about yourself, man. Who are you? Hey, uh, yeah, I'm Jason, better known as Ergo on the internet, um, the founder of Social Blade, and you know, been in the YouTube space since about 2007. It's great space. And Michelle, where are you from? What are you doing? Oh, I do a lot of things, um, <laughs> but mainly I work at Big Frame, which is the talent management arm of Awesomeness TV, which is a YouTube network that focuses on mainly younger teenage um, audiences. We just released a movie. It's called Expelled, starring Cameron Dallas. Um, but I also have been doing YouTube forever. I joined probably 2006, um, and I use all this stuff all the time. This first story is, uh, and guys, all these are linked up down below. Um, and this has been in the, the news a little for a little while, but uh, it's starting to get more traction now. The site called Vessel.com, mm -hmm. which is apparently taking a lot of top talent uh, on YouTube and giving them better deals and stuff in exchange for different types of agreements and stuff. Um, Michelle, for someone who's maybe never heard of Vessel before, can you just kind of give a big high-level overview of what Vessel is and what they're trying to do? All right, so Vessel is a YouTube competitor. It hasn't launched yet, but it's launching very soon. And it is a subscription-based premium content website. So it was, it was made by the... subscriptions. Yeah, paid yeah. subscription. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's also a freemium version where there's, like, more ads if you're not a paid subscriber. But it was made by the same people who made Hulu and Hulu Plus. So I just imagine it's going to run the exact same way except using the best of the best YouTube creator content. According to their website, just to for the actual price, it says it's uh, early access at least is two ninety nine a month plus ads also. So it's a yeah. little above. yeah, like Hulu Plus. There's probably some ads. I don't know the exact specifics. Um, no commitments. Cancel any time. Professional yeah. videos. Check it out. Vessel.com. Yeah. So this is kind of the model I've been hoping that YouTube would do for a long time now. It's like, just let me pay one flat monthly fee, like 10 bucks a month, and that, just remove all ads from YouTube. And I'd be like, that way, like I did the math on it, and if I watch an average of 100 videos a month, which I'd probably do more, but you know, say I'm average, 100 okay. videos a month, and YouTube still took their same revenue split, creators would make about 25 times more money from that than uh, if someone paid 10 bucks a month and it was rolled up with their you know play their music key service and um, everything so that's what I've been hoping for but it looks like this that's kind of in my opinion as an outsider looking in this kind of looks like what vessel is kind of beaten under the punch for with the bonus of exclusivity for the first 72 hours you put your content on vessel and then you could put it other places if you wanted so it's probably a place where the super hardcore fans would go uh, Jason why would a YouTube creator even consider though uh, going to a place like vessel uh, and would they use it instead of YouTube or alongside of YouTube or or what's the attraction there and how would creators use it do you think well, I'm thinking definitely it would be in alongside, uh, but the the biggest incentive I think is what they're touting for how much creators are going to be earning. Uh, they're advertising right on their blog here that they're estimating that creators are going to get about fifty dollars for every thousand views, and for people that are just using AdSense right now and getting say two dollars uh, for a thousand views, right. fifty dollars is quite a bit more. Yeah, about twenty five uh, times more, which is yeah, what I said, right? Yeah. <laughs> And I, I mean, they're even offering, uh, from what I can see, um, sign-up bonuses to get people to go sign up on there. I think it's like seven dollars for every sign-up or something. So if you know a creator puts up a video, especially if you're one of these big creators at the beginning, even to try this out, put up a video, get you know fifty thousand people to go sign up. You got a pretty big paycheck right there. Yeah, that's yeah. So so most creators would go to it just for the money, pretty much. I mean, at this point, that seems to be uh, what it is. Uh, if the platform really takes off and it becomes this thing, it could be more in the future. But I'd say at least at this point, that's the big incentive. I'm curious to hear from you guys in the comments below uh, what you would do as a creator. Would you go and switch to a place like Vessel? Uh, let's say even if it, they don't even have the audience necessarily, but the people that they have you know, are, are you getting much higher CPM? Because even, because here's the thing, like, so let's say you get $50 per thousand views on Vessel. That's awesome. What if you only get a thousand views because it's so much smaller of an audience as opposed to where you're on YouTube 
you know, even if you're only getting two dollars uh, per thousand views there, but you're getting hundreds of thousands of views, you know, that still equals more money, you know, but uh, in the long run. Remember, though, they're only asking for the 72-hour exclusive. You can still have your videos up on YouTube there. It's right. just the people that want to definitely see it before everyone else that would have it on the other place. So you can get your $50 over there and then get all your other YouTube revenue still. Yeah. Uh, now it looks like they are getting some people or they just ripped off a lot of Google images and are trying to make <laughs> it look red. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably the former. YouTube has even responded that when Vessel started offering these big deals here, YouTube even responded offering bonuses. I, I believe I saw an article about that, that they were offering big bonuses to their top talent to get them to stay and not to try to do these things. Right. They're like, no, stay with us. Don't leave. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, they, you know, they definitely are threatened, I think, from this. Yeah. Cool. This other story um, that uh, was not so it's a story, but it's a video that was published um, probably like a week or two ago now. That YouTube creators, um, the official YouTube creators channel, started a new series that they are calling the Creator Show, and they just uploaded their first episode. is with Grace, Grace Halbig and Olga K and some others. Um, Jason, you've seen the show. Can you give us a quick overview of, of what it is? You know, YouTube for a while has done sort of uh, updates on what they've been doing for, you know, upgrades to the platform. What they're doing a little differently in this is they're actually taking some top talent on YouTube, having them discuss sort of what's going on, as well as doing some creative things as well, interviews and whatnot. Um, so sort of a more personal version of product updates. Yeah. So let's see. They got YouTube News. They start off with YouTube News, and then they go to... Um, to like a, an interview with another creator <laughs> talking about YouTube channels and success, things like that. And then they do like Q&A from a, vi a viewer. Um, do you know any other channels? That like <laughs> <laughs> no. Gee, maybe one. Yeah, so guys, I think you should definitely go check it out. Um, yeah. it, it, it does feel a little bit familiar <laughs> so what they're both. doing there. No, but to be honest, I mean, um, there's... I think there's plenty of room for lots of different people to talk Absolutely. about YouTube yeah. because the the thing is, uh, well, that video obviously is sponsored by YouTube and they're telling people more or less what uh, they're allowed to say. Right. Other channels like Video Creators right here, uh, you have a lot of insight also on what's going on that YouTube might not be specifically saying to people. Yeah. So yeah. I think there's lots of room for other people to, yeah. Yeah, I kind of expect it to be kind of similar to um, like the uh, oh, what's the course that they did, um, Creator Academy type yeah. of. That's the level it feels like. So if you found that really basic and rudimentary, like you might find it. But you know, uh, I'm gonna be watching it. I'm subscribed, and I definitely recommend mm -hmm. like anything that YouTube does to try to help creators and educate them and train them and give them tools and resources. Like uh, definitely, I always recommend that everyone go check it out. So. That is down there uh, in the link below. And then lastly, iTunes has a special page for podcasts hosted by YouTubers. Michelle, did you get a chance to look at that? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Um, I think that's it's cool that YouTube is acknowledging that these are that sorry, iTunes is acknowledging that these are YouTube creators. But it like it kind of feels like they're putting them in a separate category. Like this isn't a real celebrity. This is a YouTube celebrity, and I, I don't really like that. I'm not one of the yeah, people who gotcha. makes the podcast, so I don't know if I can say, but as, as someone who listens to all kinds of podcasts, the, right. it's just a podcast. As someone who is definitely more ingrained into the online video world than like mainstream world entertainment stuff, um, like it's helpful for me because I can go and I can say, oh, I didn't even know Philip DeFranco had a podcast. There we go. Mm -hmm. you know, Or it helps me discover... Um, you know what other people that I might be familiar with have podcasts that I mm -hmm. might not have otherwise found because they don't talk about in their videos all the time or you know that type yeah. of thing. I, I think it's a well one people creators are looking for all sorts of other ways to branch out and expand in other areas. This is a great place for them to do it since it's widely used. And I think you're right; it's a good place. Um, it, you know, if you want to see videos or podcasts about cooking, you go to the cooking section. If you want to see about I don't know, whatever, you go to that section. If you want to see about YouTubers, you know, internet stars, I guess is what it's called, you go to that yeah, section. Not just it's not like they're just like separating them, not calling them real celebrities. It's, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're web That's celebrities. Yes, exactly. Also, there's links in the description below to these two guests, Jason and Michelle. Um, Michelle, you have a YouTube channel. Can you tell us what it is and what you do there? I do. Uh, my YouTube channel is Michelle Tells. 
It rhymes. Um, I mostly do like kind of nerdy Harry Potter related videos, um, just kind of casual hobby on the side. Most of my life is uh, working on other people's videos to do brand deals. And yeah. Jason, you have a personal channel and a business channel. You want to tell us about those are real quick? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, with YouTube's uh, constantly changing URLs. I don't know how long this will be valid, but you can go to <laughs> youtube.com slash ergo right now. Uh, my channel, I guess, is, you know, I'd call it family vlogging type of a thing. I just do friendly videos a lot with my dog and friends and whatnot. Uh, and then, of course, we have the Social Blade YouTube channel. Recently, we're doing, um, though on break for Christmas here, uh, a, a weekly live show where we talk about topics in the YouTube community with uh, live guests also. Sort of like what you're doing here too, but not I guess it here like several months ago, I think. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's a, there's a lot of good tips uh, as well on there, tip videos. So yeah, good stuff. That com slash social blade, right? Yep. Cool. So I'd love to hear from you guys again, your thoughts um, about all this stuff. And if this is your first time here, my channel is called Video Creators right here. And you could subscribe. I would love for you to do that. Every week we take a look at online video news like this. This is a little different format than I do. I'd love to hear if you guys have any feedback about that also. I thought we would make it more conversational and talk about some of these things. Uh, tomorrow on Tuesday or on Wednesdays, you give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, things like that. And then usually on Thursdays, not doing one on the Christmas, but usually on Thursdays, uh, is when I do Q&A with you guys and take a question that one of you guys help, has I do my best to answer it for you and I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread that the world needs to hear and I want to do everything I can to really help you guys grow your YouTube channels and your audiences so subscribe here and we will see you guys again well I will see you tomorrow the rest of them maybe some other time or we're on their channels <laughs> so thanks for hanging out guys talk to you later bye, bye everyone bye